Many times when we're talking about zones and setting up zones, we're talking about on the picking side. And I, I think we're missing an opportunity if you're setting up zones and you're only looking at the picking side, you can use those zones for a lot more different operations. So what we're going to talk about today is how we can use zones with our put away. Now, what I'm talking about here is let's say you have fixed locations for an item and those fixed locations are full and you, you want to put those into a bulk location. Where you can use zones here is, you know, if your fixed location is full and you, let's say you want to put it and you get some in on a purchase order and you want to put it away in a bulk location, we want to put it close to wherever the home or pick location is. So that way, when you go to replenish that pick location, it's right there in, in the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to use zones to accomplish that. And it's fairly simple. Once you've already have the zone set up, you just need to mark the item in some way to say, hey, this is a zone one item, zone two item, or this is a type of item that lives in X zone, okay? So let's take a look at the setup on this. It's, again, it's fairly simple once you already have the zone set up. So I'll show you the locations that I have here. And so I've got four pick locations and four bulk locations. So pick one and two are in zone one, pick three and four are in zone two. And then I've got basically the same sort of setup in the bulk. So I've got bulk one and two set in zone one and bulk three and four set in zone two. So let's take a look at the item that we're going to be using today, which is going to be an A001 and A002. So if I go to warehouse management, and let's go underneath the warehouse section and let's take a look at the fixed locations first. So I do have fixed locations set up for this, which is pick one and pick three. So just a reminder that pick one is in zone one and pick three is in zone two. Now, additionally, what I've done is I've got a, a stocking limit set. So if I got a location stocking limits and we look at our A1, A001 and A002, I've set the stocking limit on both of those for pick location profiles to 100. Now, if I go back to my locations here and I go to pick one, for example, and just take a look at the on hand list, we'll see that I've, I've got 100 in that location. So the pick location is going to be full on both of these. So it's going to be looking for a bulk location somewhere. So it's going to be looking for one of our bulk locations. Now, how we do that, how I'm going to force it to look at a bulk location would be if I go first to the release product, I need to mark the release product to say that it's a, um, a zone one item or a zone two item or whatever. So if I go into my release product, I'm going to use a filter code to do this. And if I pull up my A001, A002 is set exactly the same way, except it's for zone two. And I scroll down, I've, I've set a filter code for this one for to call it a zone one item, all right? So basically, I'm, I'm just matching this code up to with my, my picking location. You know, my picking location is in zone one. I want my filter code to be in zone one as well. So again, the A002 is set up exactly the same way, except the A002 is set in zone two. Now, the other important part of this is if we go into our location directives. So if I go to warehouse management and then location directives. And I go ahead and look at my purchase orders side here, work type. So I've got two uh, location directives set up. They're set exactly the same way except for the zone that's being used. So if we take a look at the one here that's set at zone one, pretty standard stuff. It's a put type um, for warehouse 24. Um, uh, all lines basically, so one to a million is going to go into this action. So first thing it's going to do is going to look for that fixed location because I want it to look in the fixed location first and try and put it away there. That's where I really want it to go if it'll fit. But remember in our example, um, the, the, that location is full, so it shouldn't try to put any there. And then it's going to try and put into a zone one location. So on this line here, I'm putting, I'm looking for an empty location with no incoming work. And then if I go to edit query here. I'm looking where uh, the zone ID on this one is zone one. So it's going to look for zone one locations and it's location zone one. And then after that, this is my fail save. So what if there is no empty location in zone one? I'm going to look for any location outside in, in the warehouse to put it, right? So I'm going to attempt to put it into the fixed location. Then I'm going to pick, attempt to put it in the zone one location. 
And then if I can't find any, anything there, I'm gonna go and try and put it into other locations. Now you can make this more complicated. You can add, you know, consolidate lines or, you know, whatever your rules wanna be. But I'm just, at some point, I just you just wanna look for where the item is in zone one. Now, where our code comes into play is in the edit query on the, on the location directive itself. So we'll come up here to edit query and take a look at this one. I've got where I'm using warehouse item number, where the code one, so that's our filter code, code one is zone one, that's when it's gonna pick this location directive, all right? So if we look at zone two, location directive is exactly the same way. If we go to the edit query here, it's gonna look for where um, the warehouse item code one is zone two, so it'll pick it if it's zone two. And then it's gonna go put the fix, look for a zone two empty location. So we're gonna edit query here, we're looking for zone two and then it'll go to any location. And then I've got this 24 here, this is just a generic. So if, if the item is not marked is, is a code one, zone one or two, it's gonna follow this and it's gonna go to the just the normal, normal put away here. So I've just got kind of a backup here. All right, so let's take a look at a PO that I've got set up for us. I've got a, it's a PO number 125. And I haven't registered any lines on it yet. So I'm gonna copy this, so I've got, a triple one and a triple two for a hundred each. So if we go into our mobile device here, go to inbound, we'll do a purchase receive, and we're going to put in this PO number. And then we're going to put in our A triple one. And then we're going to put in one hundred. And then we're good to go on that one. Okay, and then let's do the same thing for our A002. And we're gonna do a quantity of 100. And then we're gonna confirm that. And then we receive those two items there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the work that was generated off of this. So let's go back into warehouse management. And we're gonna go into work. And then we're gonna go to all work. And so here's our two um, lines that received on our PO. So if we come in here to take a look at this first one, we're going to notice that the A001 went to the bulk one location, which again, this is going to be a zone one location there. All right. And then if we close that and I'll take a look at our other one, notice that the A002 went to bulk three and that is going to be a zone two location. All right, so using this method, it, this is just gonna help you get your items close to your home location. So now at this point, whenever anybody goes to basically replenish that picking location, the, the item will be closer to the uh, picking location because it's in the same zone. So again, it depends on how big your zones are, you know, how close the item's gonna be, but it does get you closer into that zone. And again, you always have a fail safe so that if, if you don't, if it doesn't meet, if there's no location in that zone that it can use, it'll go back and fall back and it'll find uh, another location. Now you can always set up your rules to say, okay, look at zone one first and zone twos and zone three, you know, and, and have it go out further and further until it finds what, and that's another option of, of getting this to set up to be more efficient. So the whole goal here is just to be more efficient. Okay. So. I'll link a video to, I did another video on zones. I'll, I'll link that here. If you wanna take a look at that and learn more about zones, um, it's just a video I did a while back and I'll link that here, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope, hope you found some value in, in this. And until next time, see you later, bye.